Hey everybody, this is Mark and welcome to another Jungle Guide featuring Vi. Today we're going to start off by talking about the kind of runes you're going to want. You're going to want cooldown reduction blues so you can use your abilities a lot more often. Next you're going to be using attack speed quints. This is going to allow you to use your W a lot more often and doing a lot more damage to the jungle creeps. You'll be using standard armor yellows because you need the extra armor against the minions. And finally attack damage reds for the extra AD. Overall, these are the runes you really want to use. You can replace the cooldown reduction with magic resist, but I would only do that if they had a more AP heavy team. For masteries, I go 21-9. The reason being is that you get the extra damage from the offense tree as well as the little bit of tankiness from the defense tree. This setup is meant to help you get ahead early in the game by focusing on doing more damage during game. I've included some items that you might want to build on Vi, but I will talk about it more later on. For Vi, there are actually two jungle paths that you can go. The first being going golems to red buff to blue buff. With this route, you would be smiting golems and then blue buff, and then probably heading back to base. The other route you can do is smiting gromp, going to blue buff, and then smiting red buff. I prefer this one because it actually gives you more health and you can gank top a lot easier which is something I prefer to do because I like camping top lane. Now we're going to talk about your skill order. You're going to start with your W. The reason being is that every third attack uh, reduces the enemy's armor, gives you an attack speed buff, as well as does a little burst of damage. The next ability you're going to get is going to be your E. The reason being is that it helps you proc your passive as well as gives you an auto attack cancel allowing you to get your W off a lot more. And finally, you're going to get your Q. When you start a jungle creep, you want to fully charge your Q so you can get the passive stack as well as the full damage from your Q. This is going to be the skill order you initially use when you start the jungle, but that's not going to be the order you max. You're going to max your Q, followed by your E, and then your W, making sure you get your ultimate at every available level. At first, you might not feel comfortable maxing your Q, and that's quite alright. If you don't feel like you're going to be hitting as many Qs, you should max your E instead. That way you can make the most out of your damage, and you won't waste any skill points. I choose what path I'm going to take when I decide on what lane I'm going to gank. If I feel like there's no kill potential in a certain lane, then I'll decide that I'm not going to end in that lane. Now that you've chosen your jungle path, it's time to choose who you're going to gank. When you're choosing someone to gank, you want to make sure that you see like someone who's like past the halfway point, because that means your gank is more likely to succeed. The more distance your enemy has to travel, the greater chance of burning a flash or getting a kill. One thing people don't often do is capitalize on the fact that an enemy laner has burned flash. What I like to do is write the flash timer in chat so that I know that I have a 5 minute window of free ganks basically. And if you go within that 5 minutes, they don't have flash, that's basically a free kill. As Vi, you're going to want to adapt a more aggressive playstyle. Um, one thing you're going to be doing a lot of is counter jungling. Since you're such a strong early game, if you can get the jump on someone, there's a good likelihood you'll bur burn a flash or you'll get a kill. A couple of favorable matches for Vi are Amumu, Zion, Nautilus, and Jarvan. One thing to note about Jarvan is the fact that his EQ combo can actually knock you out of your Q. And if he does this, it'll negate a lot of your damage and even cause you to die. Playing jungle is all about surprises. Just because a champion is supposed to be your champion doesn't mean that you can't outplay them. Just make sure that you're balancing the risks and the rewards. Now we're going to be talking about turretizing. A big thing of what Vi does is actually turret dead. Because she does so much damage, she'll be able to burst down her opponents without taking too much damage from the tower and escape on them. Once you've picked off your opponent, it's important to check around the map and see what kind of objectives you can take. It could be towers, dragons, or maybe even rotate to another lane. The sooner you get your first dragon, the sooner you can begin stacking the passive and getting a lot more damage. Now it's time to find out what Vi does in a team fight. Vi excels in being able to blow up squishy targets. So what you want to do is when you see someone alone, you want to try and pick them up. Most importantly, you want to focus the AD carry as well as the mid laner. It's important to try and proc denting blow as much as possible because that'll give you a lot of burst damage as well as keep your attack speed up. Once all the high damage targets are down, it'll make cleaning up the fight a lot easier and increases your chance of winning a team fight. Your second job is going to be peeling for your AD carries. If you're not diving in and taking out their carries, you want to make sure the enemy is not killing yours. What this means is CCing and ulting anyone that's on your carry. Also, make sure you don't forget that you have Chilling Smite. It's going to allow you to speed up as well as slow down your enemy, making it easier for your teammates to catch up. Now it's time to go over what Vi builds. Vi excels in two different things. Doing lots of damage as well as being very tanky. And her build reflects that. For an easier time jungling, you want to start off with Trailblazer. 
After that, you want to switch to Stalker's Blade before you get your enchant. The enchant you want to get is Warrior. Once you've finished your jungle item, you're going to want to go for either a tanky item or an offensive item. Personally, I like going Triforce and then my Randu and Zoman. If they're a more AP heavy team, you might decide that you want to choose a Banshee's Veil instead of a Randu and Zoman. Or instead, you might choose a Locket. The extra shielding plus magic resist for your entire team is a great pick. Generally, your core build is going to consist of your jungle item, a Trinity Force, and a Randu and Zoman then basically building tanky from there. A couple of other offensive items you might want to choose are either Black Cleaver or Hex Drinker. Black Cleaver will give you all that extra armor penetration and allow you to do a lot more damage, while Hex Drinker will give you some extra magic resist as well as some extra damage. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my guide on Jungle Thai. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Your guys' feedback really means a lot to me and it helps me to help improve my videos. Good luck on your path to victory.